Hello friends, followers and channel members, welcome back to a quick video here in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. So in this video I'm going to show you how you can set up your own custom cam reviews and also set up your key bindings that make it possible. Now all of the key bindings in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 have changed. Sadly, they're not the same as 2020, but there is a way to restore the original 2020 key bindings, but you're also going to need to add in just a couple more to make setting up the custom views easy, meaning that we can walk through the airplane cabin and set up the views that you're looking for. All right then, so before we can set up any of our custom views, first of all, make sure you go to your controls and then the keyboard. And if you haven't done so already, make sure that using these little arrows, you go back and find the uh, preset keyboard 2020 transversal. Now, this basically means that your keyboard will work the same as it did in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. If you haven't realized yet, all of the keybinds and keystrokes that we were used to in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 have all changed in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. Really frustrating and confusing, but thankfully they have included a preset to go and use the Flight Sim 2020 key binding and keystroke. So yep, just navigate to that using these little arrows because that's going to be quite important. Next then, if we scroll down and find the, uh, the camera views, there it is. So, then we're going to go to the cockpit camera and if we scroll down you will see that what we're essentially going to be setting up today is the custom camera views these custom camera views and there is uh, 10 in total numbered uh, 0 through to 9 in order to save the custom camera views it's the control alt and then whatever number uh, of your choosing and then to recall that view once we're in the aircraft it's simply the alt and that corresponding number what we can do here as well just to make setting up the custom views a little bit easier is you want to find the option to move left, right, forward and backwards. So these views here, the translate cockpit view left, which is already the left arrow key on the keyboard. The right is the right arrow key. And then we've got uh, increase the height and decrease the height. So basically up and down. But then the other one that I want you to find just because it is going to make it easier for us is these translate cockpit view backwards and forwards. Well, I'm just going to assign um, the forward to my W key and uh, we can just apply this to all aircraft and set that as default because I want to be able to do this in every aircraft that, uh, that I fly into and then translate the cockpit view backwards. I'm going to set to the S key. So basically this is going to work exactly the same as uh, the drone camera if you're familiar with that. So now that's saved we'll go back and save the settings. We will now uh, resume and let's get back into the flight deck. So now we've got those keybinds set what you should find is uh, we've got left and right, we've got up and down and then using the W and the S keys we've got forward and back and so to go and set up your views I am going to have to just apologize for it being so laggy in this video today clearly the servers still not settled down because everyone is still trying to enjoy Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 unfortunately it seems like there's uh, definitely an issue with uh, with the servers it makes it actually quite difficult as well to use the controls because it means that uh, that trying to position yourself it's not straightforward. Now in order to um, to rotate left and right as well you can use the right mouse button so if I just turn on uh, the mouse cursor so you can see right mouse button we can go left and right etc there you go and all we need to do now is uh, navigate to a particular seat, so we'll, uh, we'll do that. Using the uh, W key to move forward, the down arrow to, uh, to move uh, lower down, and then 
using the right mouse button and scrolling around just till we get the the view that we're uh, the view that we're after. And once you've found that perfect view, you can also use your uh, mouse wheel to uh, to zoom in, find the view that we want to uh, save, press Control Alt One, and that is done. If we then moved away from that particular view and then we pressed Alt 1 to recall the view, well then it should take us right back there, and it does. And then you just need to simply go through and set all this up yourself, finding the views that you want. Once you've got all the views set up then, it's simply a matter of just using the Alt uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. just to recall um, all the views that you've got. So I've already set these up for the uh, A320 version 2 from Innibuilds, which is uh, in the sim. And so uh, yeah, we can use those now in flight. As you do that then, it creates a folder where these views are saved. This means then you can locate the file where the views have been uh, saved and share them with other people, etc. Or import other people's views as well. To find this folder, locate the community folder for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. I've shown you how to do that in, uh, in our previous video of uploading add-ons and scenery and popping them in there. And uh, just work your way backwards to the local cache in there, sim objects, airplanes, here are all of the planes installed, and uh, if we just go to the A320, go to the presets, any build, A320 Neo, config, and that is the path to the camera folder. This is the file which contains all of those camera views. It's the configuration file. Share that with other people if you wish, or if you download a camera config file, this is the path where it would need to go for the corresponding aircraft. So hopefully this video has helped you get your key bindings back to how they were in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, and then be able to use those to set up custom camera views for every aircraft that you want to fly. Hope you have found this useful. If you have, please don't forget to leave a like. And of course, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more Flight Simulator 2024 tutorial videos, and of course, our live stream flights. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all again in the next one. Bye bye for now.